to my channel if you're new here hi welcome my name's lucy long time no see i am fully fully aware yeah please don't grill me for that i've had so much on it's actually a joke so i am back i am so determined now to put some real effort into youtube i've possibly been the worst youtuber for the past i'd say month i've been opening my own uh, makeup academy i've been living with lawrence obviously um just getting used to like the new norm i guess with my life that's the right word um but yeah so welcome back everybody welcome back no no the point of today's video is obviously by the title it's almost like a catch up with lawrence and to see how he's been doing i've had so many messages through youtube instagram i'll pop up the instagram pages that we have for lawrence and myself here so you guys can go and have a little follow um, have a have a look at our pages, see what we're up to on the daily. But I thought I'd show you how much he's grown because he's now four and a half months old um, and he's literally the most cheekiest little boy ever. But let me grab him and I'll show you. So here he is, guys. Lawrence is <laughs> he's currently looking at himself in the mirror. There we go. So here's Lawrence, he's now four and a half months old. He is quite a handful, as you can probably see. Um, I am holding him with one hand, so if that makes any more, like, kind of sense to you guys in, this, in the sense of size, then he is currently about, yeah, he's enough to fit on my hand. So I'll put a little picture up here of what he looked like about, when did we last come on YouTube, Lawrence? I think it was about, oh goodness. It was quite a while ago, but obviously, Compared to what you look like then to now, he's grown into such a gorgeous, handsome young man. Mum and Dad are so proud of you, son. Um, he literally is doing so well, guys. Like, we've had... All right, I'll put you down. So, Lawrence is just doing so well. Like, I think this is a really good opportunity for me to actually sit down with you guys and tell you, like, the realistics of having a puppy. Also, if you are looking into getting a puppy, then this might be quite useful for you guys. Um, don't mind me, just gonna crack open my Capri Sun. Oh, that's so fresh. I know, like I said so many times now, when I was on YouTube trying to look at specifically Cavapoo puppies, there wasn't really much, like, um, content in terms of, like, updated videos. So I think I could sit here and just chat for England about it, but I won't. Um, but he's just doing so well, like... I think he's really, this sounds so weird, but he's really blossomed in the last, like, three to four weeks. Um, I think that's primarily due to him obviously growing, him, and, like, really, really settling into the flat and, like, knowing me and Stan. So, Lawrence's sleeping pattern is so much better. He now sleeps from probably about half past ten till half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. We're super lucky with his sleep and he just kind of goes straight to sleep. Um... He does sleep in our room. Um, we kind of, we were really, really strong the first week of him being in the lounge, in his crate. But I literally felt like the worst mum. And you can grill me for it, I'll take the grill in. But I couldn't sit in here and hear him crying his little eyes out. Cavapoos in general are really like... Their class is companion dogs. I know most dogs are companions, but Cavapoos particularly really rely on having someone with them. And that isn't just me making that up, that is a genuine fact. So we found with Lawrence that when one of us leaves the room or if one of us goes out for the day, he is absolutely beside himself. Like, I'm just being completely real with you guys in terms of Cavapoo puppies really depend on you. Especially, I mean, I know puppies in general, when they're little, they obviously want all your attention and stuff, but just Lawrence particularly really struggles when, if me and Stan aren't here together. So if I leave, he is crying for ages when Stan leaves, he cries for ages. Uh, to be honest, now he's alright, he's in the spare room, he's sat by the window, he's a very much a window watcher, so he sits by the window all the time. Um, I'll see if I can get a little shot of him doing it, one sec. So he's just minding his own business. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> he is just the funniest little thing, like he is so cheeky. And so, like, he's hyper quite a lot. Um, 
but he does sleep a lot. So the, the hyperness is then leveled out with a lot of sleeping. He's quite a nervous, timid dog, if I'm honest. He constantly needs to look back at even me, me and Stan to almost say, yeah, it's all right, you can go and play with them. <laughs> um, but he's just, he just loves to play with you and have cuddles. And he's very much a lap dog. Like, I don't know if anyone else watching this video has a cavapoo and agrees in terms of them having a of them being like a lap dog and needing loads of cuddles but Lawrence is always after cuddles he has so many toys I cannot even deal with the fact that he has so many toys like he'll always go for the harder ones like he doesn't really enjoy the plush toys so obviously the majority of his toy box is plush squidgy squeaky toys um but he loves bones so if you are looking about looking into getting a puppy get as many of those as you can um we tried buying him these like chicken flavored soft gummy bones and he just hasn't really like he has, he's just not interested in them at all it's so strange to me how some dogs will literally sit there for hours and chew on a single bone lawrence will literally get bored of a bone after like 15 minutes max like that's about it so yeah i want to show you his new tricks as well because he's just literally the cutest little thing ever when he does it so moving on to toilet training as well obviously being in a flat is really difficult because we don't have a garden we don't have the luxury of opening those french doors and letting him run out and do his business so we've kind of timed it that every hour we take him downstairs for it's normally just a wee to be honest um now he's got to four and a half months he's eating really well at breakfast and dinner so we've cut it down to breakfast and dinner now obviously up until now we've been doing breakfast lunch and dinner because i know they say you need regular intervals of eating to get them used to eating that um that food you're providing and eating out the bowl and it's really small things but it makes such a difference um so he eats all of his breakfast at about eight half past, between eight and nine o'clock in the morning and then dinner varies between four to six it like it really does vary um but a tip that i got off my mum actually is that if he's not eating straight away give it 20 minutes if he doesn't touch the bowl in 20 minutes just take the bowl away and try again the next hour um we have tried that and he's now kind of solidifying the time to like five half five or six um i normally put it out for four because i don't want him to be eating late any later than six o'clock um purely because i don't want him to feel stressed or anything in the night when he's going to bed and obviously we don't want him to be up and having wheeze and poos and stuff in the middle of the night we're trying to get him into that routine of when you wake up that's when you go and do your business another little tip that i wanted to share with you guys that we've really what i've been absolutely loving is signing lawrence up to puppy class so lawrence has been going to puppy class for six weeks now that's wrong lawrence has been going to puppy class for five weeks now he's got his last puppy class this weekend he just absolutely loves it and i'm not saying that to be like oh i know what my puppy thinks but you just know when your dog's happy their tails wagging they're excited they're jumping like he absolutely loves it there's four other puppies that go as well it's all socially distanced i mean the trainer is absolutely incredible i will leave her um details down below if you want to sign up to her puppy classes or ask her any questions because she's absolutely fantastic um he is so loved there all of the puppies and their owners just we all get we all get on so so well it's been one of the best things for lawrence because we've learned so much from it um the support we've had with it is amazing um we've had one-to-one -one kind of contact with the the trainer um and it's just been so good and it's like for him to socialize every week with different dogs is really good for him um he's currently having a moment right now having a, a zoomy as they call it oh have you stopped have you stopped what's this one <laughs> I do apologise if you can now hear Lawrence barking in the background. That's another point I wanted to come on to, the fact that he has now found his little voice. Kind of put it down to he doesn't bark out of anger, upset, nervous, worried. He purely barks out of excitement. When he's excited um, and he's... <laughs> and he's interested in something and he wants to play that's when he'll start barking cavapoos are prone to barking another thing you need to know 
Cat the poos are definitely prone to barking. He's currently sat down by my feet at the moment, looking up at me as if to say, Mum, where are the treats? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and show you the tricks that we've learned so far at puppy class. Um, and I'm gonna actually show you a good selection of training treats that are really good to have in your cupboard. Um, the ones that we the ones that we're using, they work fantastically because they're really, really strong in smell. If dogs have got something that's really strong in smell, they're more likely to go and investigate it, they're gonna want to work for it. Um, I'm purely talking off our experience and I think that, correct me if I'm wrong in anything I've said, but I'm just relaying what we've had over the last kind of, crikey, it's been so many weeks now since we've had Lawrence, it's gone so quickly. Sit, lie down um, and stay because that's the ones that we've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Right, Lawrence, sit. Lawrence, lie down. Lie down. Good boy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but let's see if we'll do it again. Let me just turn the camera down a little bit so you can see him a bit, little bit better. Here. <laughs> he just sits by him being asked. Right, come over here. Over here. Come over here. Lawrence, over here. Right, Lawrence, sit. <laughs> come over here. Right, sit. Right, that's lie down. You can have a treat for that one. Lawrence, come here. Good boy. Right. Right, Lawrence, sit. Lawrence, lie down. Good boy. Right, Lawrence, sit. Right, Lawrence, stay. 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 Good boy. I'm going to try and walk. I'm going to try and get a little bit further back. Stay. 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 <laughs> you can have that one, darling. So obviously those tricks we did with Lawrence are, are quite basic, but as Lawrence is so hyper all the time, getting him to sit down and lie down is actually a massive achievement for us. Um, he loves, loves, loves to impress. He always, he does work for his treats, bless him, and he, he is just, he is such a good boy when he is when he wants to be let's say so a couple of favorite um brands that we really like actually majority of them have come from puppy class that the trainer has suggested um the first being lawrence's absolute favorite which is the nature's menu original all natural ingredients um and this is the real meaty treats 95 percent meat naturally tasty great training treat he has them in beef chicken and lamb We've also got these ones, which Lawrence has been absolutely loving recently. These are the chicken strips um, from Feel Wells. So they're 100% meat again. Um, they're grain-free, air-dry. There's no artificial colours, flavouring. So they're completely natural ingredients. Um, and they're 100% chicken. He absolutely loves these. He absolutely loves them, especially when we go out and we leave them in his crate. They take him like 20 minutes to get through. So it's quite a nice little treat for Lawrence to have. Those treats from Nature's Menu are really, really good. We've also got um, Lawrence's food from this. I think I think it's a branch off Nature's Menu. I think it's called Natural Instinct. It is one of the more pricier brands, but it's again one that the puppy trainer recommended. Um, it's full of protein. It's like little kind of. Um, Dry, it's all dry food, so again, really good for their teeth, really good for their breath, etc. All dried chicken chunks, which Lawrence absolutely loves, and then there's like little kind of crunchy standard dog pieces in it. But all together, it's like the it's like a bowl full of health for a, for, a, for a growing puppy. And they sell them at pets at home, like all the pet stores, so they're not kind of hard to get. And all of these treats you can get from pets at home, apart from the chicken strips. So again, I'll leave the link down below for you guys to kind of have a little look. We went on a lovely long walk this morning. We take Lawrence on two walks a day. Um, but obviously if he goes and if he spends the day with his Uncle Vinny, um, they are just absolutely bonkers together. They go sprinting around the garden. So normally we take him for a nice long walk in the morning and then during the day he's so occupied with Vinny in the garden that he is so tired by the time he gets home that I feel bad on taking him out again. Um, but he... He is really well looked after and we love him so, so much. Like, I genuinely cannot describe the love I have for this little man. Like, yeah, I'm talking about you. 
he's just so he's just so good like the only thing that we're working on now is obviously the crying um and the staying really so everything else we're kind of getting there with toilet training like i said we are touch wood i think i think we're there does have a few accidents but he's a puppy he's going to so that's what you guys obviously will need to take into account if you get a dog don't get angry at them if they have a little accident because you know like humans we have accidents sometimes you know okay so that is a really good little um description there lucy great <laughs> So I know that was a really random slash um, weird short little catch up. But like I said, I've received so many questions over the last couple of weeks about how Lawrence is doing and what he's been up to and his, you know, his little his little life adventures, let's say. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly jump on here and have a little chat with you guys. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Please leave us a little comment as well um, as to what you'd like to see next from me and Lawrence or on the channel. If you'd like to see a little routine of what Lawrence has, <laughs> that would be really cute. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Lawrence loves you all so, so much. And we will see you all in the next video. All the best, guys. Bye! <laughs>